Once again, the state health department website remains mostly down following that cyber attack. So the only key COVID metric we know that is being updated, the number of hospitalizations. Right now, 1,200 people, 1,204 people hospitalized with the virus. That's up 16 from yesterday. New COVID outbreaks are causing closures and cancellations at college campuses and beyond. WJC's Live Downtown. Paul Gessler is outside the state health department with what we know about the state's transmission, how, uh, what local universities are responding. Paul. Vic, as Denise just mentioned, we're seeing very limited information coming from the state health department as now we are two weeks into that cyber attack. But universities are seeing high enough case rates that many of them are canceling events or modifying operations. Winter commencement is canceled in College Park following a sharp rise in COVID cases on campus. The state's flagship university announced nearly 100 new cases Thursday. It follows spikes at colleges across the country ahead of winter break. Here at Towson University, final exams are now virtual after university health officials reported 112 new cases in the past 24 hours, most of those coming from students. I just think it's crazy how, um, you know, it's coming back, and I just thought that it was just getting better. Towson announced beginning Friday night it is moving final exams virtually, and dining services are moving to carry out only. I believe that it's the right course for, you know, Especially for finals week. It's scary. I personally, I hate it, the online format with the exams and everything. And going back to that, it's just, I got to do this again. Public health officials continue to push booster shots, especially before any holiday travel. But locally, we remain in the dark on many public health metrics as the state health department continues to recover from a cyber attack. It really hamstrings both public policy and then individuals that are driving decision making. We do know the state's hospitalizations have doubled in the past three weeks, now surpassing 1,200, causing state health officials to direct hospitals to reduce scheduling non urgent surgeries. At 1,500 hospitalizations, they're directed to implement their pandemic plans. And at the state's current pace, Maryland could reach 1,500 hospitalizations by Christmas Day. The state health department tells me their team is working around the clock to restore those COVID metrics so they can publish those as soon as possible. For now, reporting live downtown Baltimore, Paul Gessler for WJZ.